Hello, Cardsmiths, my old friends. I've come to review cards again. And here we have an underground assassin. <clears throat> Hello, this is Highlander. Doing another MTG Custom Magic the Gathering card review. And today we're reviewing a card by Shadow Rain. This card's called Underground Assassin. Let's see what we got here. We got a five mana three four. This looks like kind of a beefy boy with his crew. Cool art. I like the art a lot. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Syndicate. Syndicate three. Pay three and a black. You may pay an additional three and a black as you cast this spell. Okay. So it's like a kicker. If you do, search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with mana value three or less that shares a creature type with this and put it on the battlefield tap. If you search your library, they shuffle it. Okay. So kicker. Sorry, I accidentally put my microphone on mute there. Let me uh, just adjust here for a minute. We're so professional here. Okay. Um, all right, neat. So kicker four, you get a mana value three or less creature that shares a creature type with it. Okay. Uh, and it goes onto the battlefield. Yeah, all right, neat. Uh, Menace Death Touch, all right, pretty strong. Whenever Underground Assassin attacks, create a treasure token. Okay. Um... Yeah, this guy's cool. So basically, for five, he's a three, four menace death touch, and whatever he attacks, created treasure token. So this is pretty strong. I mean, you know, obviously, menace and death touch are, are a strong combo, right? Because, you know, you need to block two creatures. You block two creatures, you're going to lose both of them. Um, let me take a quick look at the order of the keywords. Ugh, I hate that I know this now because I have to check every time. Let's see. Menace, Death Touch. It's presumably not a common combination. Okay, great. Oh, look at this, Direfleet Ravager. Uh, okay, so in the right order. So yeah, a uh, I like that he's three power. Um, I like that he's not like two power. Like his his power is not super duper high because you you know Menace Death Touch means you're you're cl pretty close to unblockable there. You know. Um, and I like the fact that whenever he attacks, you get a treasure token. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, and if you pay nine mana, you get you get another dude. Uh, yeah, it's a strong card. Um, not too much wrong with this card, I have to say. Uh, cost seems pretty good. It, it seems like a strong card. I like... Um, you know the kicker cost is nice. You, you get a you get a three CMC card uh, for your trouble. Nine's a lot of mana, so like you're you're basically never doing that in um, in uh, limited. So you know, I mean, I guess you can, but getting to nine is like a lot, and uh, you know, all you kind of get out of it is is this guy plus a plus a C. A CMC three. It feels it feels like in limited at least you're mo almost most of the almost most of the time. What am I saying? Most of the time, like ninety five percent of the time, you're just gonna play this guy as as is without the syndicate trigger. Um, and then if you just happen to have nine mana floating around, like may, who knows? Maybe you're you have like a uh, you know a treasure theme. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's like treasure going on or something then you can play this guy and get a little lackey with him. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, to be honest, I would kind of prefer, because this card's so expensive, I would almost prefer if the syndicate cost was lower and you could get a smaller guy. Just to make this, like, if the, if this was, like, syndicate 2 and you pay 3, uh, then this guy costs 8 uh, if you want to kick him. Like, that. that's just a little bit more realistic I, I feel like as far as like when you're you know how often you're going to get there um but i mean you know this is totally fine it's just like I, you know i always think of things in terms of limited and in terms of limited it's going to be so rare that you ever hit this you know um so it, it you know making it cost eight instead of nine is, is, is a really big difference um and yeah, I mean, he's a good attacker, good blocker, um, gives you treasures when you attack. Kind of unfortunate that, like, he gets you treasures that you can't use for his ability, but presumably, if you're in a, playing a set with Syndicate, you want 
you want that mana, right? So you're you're gonna be you're gonna be able to make use of these treasure tokens. Yeah, I, I really like this card actually. It's cool. Um, the only <laughs> and I, again I have to go to nitpick mode here. The only nitpick I have is okay. This guy's called Underground Assassin, right? But um, really, he seems more of like a like a thug, like a like a like a uh, like a some kind of like a leader thug right because like look at him this guy's real beefy he doesn't really look like an assassin to me and his friends don't really either i mean i guess they could be but he he just he's just like be a beefy man he's a three four beefy man um and he he makes treasures so like assassins uh you know they get paid for killing things this guy is just getting paid for dealing damage, you know. So he, he he's really more of like you know he's the muscle, you know. He's not he's not the guy that like slips in quietly and kills somebody. That's what that's what it feels like to me anyway. Um, but that that's kind of that's kind of a minor gripe. I mean the art is very cool. If this guy was called like underground, uh, I don't know, something else. Underground bruiser, underground kingpin, uh, you know. I, some, something like that uh anyway you get what i'm trying to say but you know there's there's really not much wrong with this card um you know there's a couple there's a couple things i would prefer to have changed but uh yeah i mean this one's quite close to a five out of five it, i have to say like the syndicate thing doesn't like wow me exactly um just because like it's it's essentially like a, a kicker, um, but you know it it, it, ha it you can only get certain things. Although it does put it onto the battlefield, so you know it, it's sort of like a very very specific kicker, right? Because you pay this, you put it on the battlefield. It has to have a certain mana value and it has to share a creature type. Um, so I, I mean, Syndicate's neat. Don't get me wrong. It's just like novelty. You know, isn't like off the roof here but i think it's still still pretty cool i you know obviously syndicate makes a lot of sense for well hold on let me let me let me define syndicate here before we uh before i say anything a group of individuals or organizations combined to promote some common interest hey there you go i like it okay i was going to complain about it but uh no that that works really well so yeah i like this card I think I'll give this card a five out of five. It, I would say it, it's, it's, uh, it, there. Basically, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this card. There's a few things that I, that I would change, like, for, like, for my personal preference uh, as a designer. Um, but I really can't fault any anything on this card, really. Um, and I guess Syndicate is enough novel that it can warrant a five out of five. You know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't like make me like jump up and down and click my heels together or anything like that. Um, ah, drink of my tea, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a custom mechanic that works well and, and seems like it could have some interesting applications. So yeah, uh, five out of five for underground assassin. Thank you guys for watching.